Guys, this is very, very, this is very, very simple for me to explain. This is very, very simple. It should be simple for you to understand. Reading a lot of this Evo psych that I have over the last few years, and all those books are pinned in the top comment of all my videos in the Amazon uh, bookstore. Probably the most useful one that I came across was The Evolution of Desire by David Buss. Uh, you can also listen to David Buss. Uh, he's done some interviews in the last uh, few months because he's got a new book out. I'm not interested in the new book. I was more interested in the Evo Psych stuff, but I saw a long interview he did with uh, Andrew Huberman. thought it was great. I'll say this. The most important thing that you have to understand when it comes to attraction, the optics of attraction, is developing a shoulder to waist ratio that is, it's called the golden ratio and it's 1.62. And all that means is your shoulder width is 1.62 the width of your waist, okay? Again, so this this also brings in the reason why you want a tailored shirt. Like I'm pulling it in a tiny little bit more at the back here with whatever's left just to, you know, kind of exaggerate it. But you want wide shoulders and a narrow waist. That's what women like. Scientifically proven, evolutionary speaking proven. You, you know, it's the same reason why guys like a certain waist to hip ratio with women because uh, there's lower instances of uh, failed pregnancies. There's higher levels of fertility. It's, it's just a more attractive quality in women, but we're not talking about women here. We're talking about dudes. What women like to see in men, and it doesn't matter if you're five foot seven or six foot seven or seven foot seven, this ratio is consistent through all male heights. And the easiest way for you guys to measure it is, easiest way, Find something that you can take a, uh, a dry erase marker on. I don't have a dry erase. This is a Sharpie, but just take a dry erase marker and stand in front of your glass shower door, in front of a stainless steel refrigerator, anything that you can write on to wipe off very quickly. And all I do is you stand there. I'm just going to face the camera. You just stand there. You put a little dot on your shoulder, a little dot you know, from the other shoulder, just on the wall, the glass, whatever it is that you're standing in front. And you put a dot on your belt line and a dot on the other side of your belt line. You move away from the uh, object that you put the dots on, take a tape measure, you measure the width of the top, you measure the width of the bottom, divide one and the other, that'll give you your ratio. The closer you can get to 1.62, or if you can exaggerate it and go full on Johnny Bravo style, um, I've had mine as high as 1.7, but the closer you can get to 1.62 or beyond, even better, but 1.62 is the ideal, that's great. That's all you got to do. And all that is, is broaden your shoulders, narrow your waist, eat properly, move more, lift heavy weights, do presses, do, you know, shoulder extensions. I'm not going to do like a full breakdown because everything you need is for free on the internet. You want to build shoulders. How do I build big fat shoulders? How do I build shoulders like boulders? You know, you can search for it, right? How do I get abs, six pack abs? Because that's all you really need. How do I eat? How do I eat? Keno body or whatever, you know, just figure it out. Go look it up. The answers are out there.